Welcome back to the goo goo. Welcome back to the. P- <sighs> Welcome back to the Gans Pial. Welcome back to the goo <laughs> pill. Welcome back to the goo 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 Welcome back to the yeah. Yeah, baby. That might be the best intro I think we've ever had. I want to do that the whole time, please. Let's do an hour and four minutes of that. Yeah, I don't know if I could handle doing that. Beatboxing for an hour straight. My mask would just be that balaclava. Yeah, be wet. If I didn't have it, I could probably do, but I just don't want to. Soak well, this mask in. Oh, spit. we have we have a second terrorist on the podcast. Yeah, today. Let's go. Yeah, there's no oh. terrorism this time. I think you mean a third because you're here, Blarg. But okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's beeping? Well, Mr. we have Trippy and, and, and Ethan today. Bring me a dream. Say hi to them in the comments. Say hi, Ethan and Trippy. and Trippy. I finally got Good Ethan eye. and Trippy on. I had to beg them. And everything they we had did to not pay them come on. absurd yeah. amounts Small of money to show up for an hour. Dollars. Is this the first time you've ever been on like cam trippy? Yeah, the first oh. one. Hell yeah! Wow. You look so cute, babe. You look so oh, white as fuck, boy. You definitely don't look like you're gonna blow up New York. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> if I you saw you talking, near a, buddy. a marathon location, I would probably run the other way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, well, McNasty, that's kind of that's kind of rich coming from you, buddy. Yeah, you're literally wearing the New York mix shit. Yeah. Shut up, Well, I, I was more talking about the, the whole get-up and not the New York Knicks sweater that made oh, him look like a well, terrorist. <laughs> Who's Nick? Why does he live in New York? I look like I'm going to eat every cake in New York. Okay, uh, so you dude, complain, you, you you complain it, about yeah. this meme. <laughs> <laughs> every damn day now. Dude, he was having like a heart-to-heart with me and Dude last night. So I just... I just don't. I really don't get why people think it's so funny to call me a whole cake eater. And he's yeah, like, the only yeah, he's like, he's like I've been doing YouTube for years, bro. I make fun I of jokes. Tweeted so my that. legacy a, is gonna be the. Was a you were, you were, yeah, you were. You're like they call me a whole cake eater, and the first thing you mention when you're talking here is, "Yeah, I look like I'm about to eat a whole cake." McNasty, <laughs> you're, you're upset bitch about that. Up. I wake up I've every day. I mean, and I just accepted terrorist. it at this point. I'm a big mother yuck cutter. You're upset fork? about whole cakes. <laughs> hey, for <laughs> me, it's being a virgin. We all got Grizzly, our own vice. Chrissy gets yelled at for yeah. being black. At least you could stop eating whole cakes. He's <laughs> yeah, stuck being I'm... black. <laughs> well, no, he chose that. At least when I'm around a police officer, <laughs> I don't really have to worry. I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's better. If you were dressed like yeah. that, you would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real and true. Yeah, true, true. All right, Blarg, so, how uh, are you feeling? Let's talk about Blarg. I don't want to talk about Blarg. Blarg's life Blarg's is depressing. Blarg's on his death gaming chair right now. Yeah. Things have Blarg been, is ill. Things have been better over Blarg in the Blarg corner. I, I, I had a whole lot going on, and then I got COVID, and then two days after I got COVID, I got a throat infection, and... I still have a throat infection, so that's where that's where I've been. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. I've been gone. Yeah, I've been nice gone ass. for two weeks actually, because well, the first week was one of my best friends passed away, unfortunately, and then uh, three days after my condolences that is when I got COVID, and then now I have a throat infection. So it's been a life's kind of kicking been, you in the been, balls. Yeah, it's been it's been a week and a half. That's that's where I've been at. <laughs> so we should Not talk about somebody run. else who has more of a more of an entertaining if, if last like, week. <laughs> I wonder if somebody with a throat infection deep throats a cock, if that person also gets a... Uh, I mean, I can't, like... throat infection. You can get strep dick? It depends, yeah. Well, it depends. If it's a bacterial infection... You could definitely give somebody a bacterial infection. I don't know about on their dick, but... Yeah, like go in their pee hole, right? I don't don't really know. I haven't decided that I mean, that's that's usually how, like, some STDs work. It's like how Ricky Gervais described AIDS. You know, like, God put AIDS in the pee hole and butthole of every gay man, and that's how it got started. Oh yeah, mm. and you can look that up. You can. I think you can it was a monthly, on the internet. The extremely what chapter atheist of the Ricky Bible Gervais? is that? You can chapter look that one. up on AIDS.gov. Chapter one, episode one. <laughs> it's my new That's website. It's in the book of AIDS. Yeah, Verse number three. Book of AIDS. <laughs> AIDS <The Chronicles>. seven thirteen. <laughs> the book of monkey butthole. <laughs> book of AIDS. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. I like that that's funnier in the book of monkey butthole, as if that there'd be an entire <laughs> book revolving around strictly monkey buttholes. One, I'd yeah. read it. You yeah, never know. There yeah, is a yeah, complete right compendium of monkey butthole. You see those monkeys with like the big red asses? It looks like it's like violently inflamed all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, saw some at the, I saw some at the zoo the other week. Yeah. I wonder if that's because they don't wipe. 
Right? No, you it's supposed what? to yeah. attract mates. It's supposed to. They don't, use, really? they don't use dude a, wipes. A giant red inflamed asshole is supposed <laughs> yeah. to attract a mate. It's because mm -hmm. they don't use a bidet. It for me, <laughs> not it's because it looks like Mario's hat. <laughs> and every month, yeah, every month. No, no, he's right about this. Yeah. That's yeah. also in the book of AIDS. In the book, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone's been studying. I'm proud. I read Ethan, a lot. All right, Ethan. Tell them about how you met someone's uh, mom that works for Mr. Beast last night. Yeah. What? what? Well, my car got booted while I was trying to eat some food, and then the whole time I'm sitting there talking with the cops, whatever. It was illegally booted. It's a long story, but basically, my friend's sitting over there talking to somebody and when we, when we go away she's like oh yeah that was uh her son like works for mr beast or something like that she's like yeah his name's jimmy and like telling us all about him or whatever she's like my son works for jimmy he goes by mr beast and like said that he just flies drones for him or something i'm like that is the most random fucking thing while i'm sitting here talking to the cops <laughs> trying to get my a boot off of my car <laughs> The fucking <laughs> lady's telling a story about how her son worked for Mr. Beast and then ends up screaming at the lady who took the boot off of the car. Just like, fuck what? you. Like, it was the most, it's like a bad trip. Maybe this it was all Mr. Beast that hour. booted your car. Yeah. yeah. Dude, what if it <laughs> was Mr. Video. Beast? Because <laughs> Ethan was telling me, he called me, he was like, dude, I got to say something crazy. And he called <clears> me, he told me this whole story. And he was like saying how it was, like some crackheads were going around this parking lot putting boots on people's cars. And yeah. trying to like demand fucking money. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Put that's, these boots on these people's cars. Big IQ Holy fucking shit. crackhead plays. It could have. Yeah, it could have yeah. been. It could have been Mr. Beast. Like strategy. he could have. Could have had his strings. He's like the master well, of puppets. Mr. Beast wasn't even a fucking <laughs> peddling <laughs> drugs like, in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a boot though. It was like a strap. It's like one little strap around your wheel spoke. I'm like, I could just drive away. It doesn't just really stop the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys see that animation? The animation about how Mr. Beast is uh, a uh, Christian channel? That was, uh, uh, that was uh, oh my God, the fucking <laughs> Max can? Mofo and uh, I was going to say that it looked cold like ones. something. Oh. Cold ones, I could have yeah. swore I had seen it before, but then I saw it last night when you had replied. And it was like out of context, and yeah. like seeing it out of context, it's like, dude, there's no shot. Somebody fucking no. Made that was this. apparently that was a cold <laughs> one. So I haven't seen the episode, but everyone, everyone in my comments was or on Twitter was yelling at me, and they're like, "Bro, do you not know what that's from?" It's like, no, I, I, I haven't watched every Cold Ones episode ever. My apologies. You should. They're really good. They're I know they're hilarious. very good. I love watching them. They're just they're always like twenty plus minutes, and I, I don't want to sit on YouTube for twenty plus minutes, so. Yeah, imagine listening to an hour podcast on YouTube. Yeah, that's com. fucked. It's like the just dumbest thing you could possibly do. With your time. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if we should be making fun of our own audience. Actually, that's alright. They fucking suck. No, they deserve it. <laughs> yeah, fuck you guys. It. Trolled. Love you guys, but also should have seen y'all's faces. <clears throat> or yours, bro. Yeah, we you can't just see yours either. Yeah, God, what, you're such a Gen that? Zer. Soup the Gen Zer, am I right? Shut the fuck up, old ass bitch. I'm a you're Gen Zer. Like six months younger than me. You look like you're about to eat a fucking pudding cup with your next pullover on, buddy. Why a pudding cup? <laughs> I don't know. That just looks like it's an old know. man thing. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, My grandma good, used to make me be... rice pudding at her house, and I hated it. Rice pudding. I would believe like anything from, from 18 to 36 for you. You can't no. tell what age you are. Me? What, soup? Yeah. Or McNasty. Oh, well, yeah. he's he's a fucking mask. Mask. How old are you? Yeah, super. Yeah, I can never tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you grew up with him, didn't he? Well, he's 36, <laughs> so what? Like, you're in kindergarten hanging out with an 18 year old? <laughs> weird that we went to school together when you we were, were 36, buddies. man. We were in the same class. <laughs> I was held back a few years, <laughs> a few decades. Well, I'll tell you one thing if you see my hairline, you'll probably understand how old I am. <laughs> how old I is is your hairline receding? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Damn. Why imagine, do you think that is? Imagine being 30. Probably because I'm obese. <laughs> I don't know. No, I mean, like, do you wear I, hats a my lot? Whole, or? My whole family has just, like, a genetics of, like, not good hair. Mm. I know like, I'm going to be bald when I get older. Even my skinniest, like, most healthy uncle was bald by he was by the time he was, like, 20. Oh, so, my God. Yeah. 
There was, was a guy that, there was a guy me and Ethan went to high school with who was bald in high school. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. people just have fucked hair. Gen- but he had genitals? a full beard too. Genetics. I was like, you just fucking move it. It's like he just took it off <laughs> his head and put it on his face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, Dude. mine was real bad for a bit, but. I didn't realize. I thought it was just bad genetics, and then turns out it was the medication I was on that was causing my hair to fall out. And I was like, "Oh, that's mm-hmm. that's not good." Damn, so luckily, it's, it's mostly fixed itself. But I don't think it'll ever be back to where it was. But I thought it was just balding. I was like, I didn't like think anything of it. My dad's bald, and my doctor's like, "Well, what's your grandpa's hair like?" And both my grandpas have pretty full head of hair. So he's <laughs> like, "Yeah, realistically, you probably should be should be fine. It's supposed to go off of your." mother's side i think you said or something yeah like that's that. what i heard it goes yeah. off your mom's side um hmm. so i just thought i had bad genetics but but yeah no it was uh a, a medical you know they, they recently balding. found this uh they recently found this new like almost cure to balding i mean there's a lot of cures for balding it's just like well it's like, like a new thing have, they just found if you have anything it's not, that it's not prevents like your prostate like, expanding it'll prevent balding Cause like that's what balding is. I think it's. I want to say it's yeah. It's your fuck? prostate. So it's your prostate. As you get older, your prostate expands, which releases something. I got there's a Spark Notes explanation of it, um, but that's what causes balding. So if you have like like huh. there's stuff like um, oh my god, what is it? Uh, finasteride, I think that is. Uh, it prevents that from happening, and you like will grow a little bit of hair back, and then fentanyl? you'll just never bald. No, not fentanyl. Fentanyl will just mm. kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you won't have well, to worry about balding because you'll be dead. And, like there was this stuff. recent like thing they found where like this certain protein called like super something, super something three, super idol. <clears throat> but it's like it something happens where in your follicle <laughs> it kind of like disables the follicle. But there's uh, it makes it retarded. They're they're able yeah they're retarded <laughs> follicles yeah. <clears throat> but they're working on a way to be able to like. <laughs> re-enable the follicles by by being able to like manipulate that protein oh, yeah that it sounds just, like, like some like crisper type shit it's such a new like thing to where like they haven't been able to test it on like or no they tested it on rats the rats so get tested, receding hairlines they tested it Did on a rat bald? and then like in the area, their ass or something <laughs> in the area on the rat the hair would grow back like quite a bit Whoa. and they also did a human graft where they took human skin and put it on a rat and it did the same thing. It grew oh, up. Why they have to put it on a rat? Kind of Frankenstein bullshit. Well, that's how they, that? they, 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 they can't they just test it on red monkey ass. They can't just immediately <laughs> go to like human trials. You have to do like rats first. And that's because we're pussies. Sometimes Fair they do enough. monkeys, but it's yeah, it just sure. depends on like what product. Do uh, do gorillas go bald ever? Is there yeah? Is there a bald know. ape? If you shave, I know there's like bald chimpanzees, but it's like a genetic disorder. I don't think it's like a yeah. A recessionary Has trait. anyone ever shaved an ape? Yeah. Or, you can, Have you not seen a bald chimpanzee? They look like look, little jacked midgets. Oh, they're white, aren't they? They're yeah. Monkeys are actually white, which like, like gray, disproves kinda. racism altogether, actually. Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Here Dude, I feel like that, that in itself was racist, I feel like. Dude, you've been on a racist, like, trip lately. I don't know what you're doing. No. Because this little Dude's pant boner. Dude, pant what the boners. fuck is this? <laughs> What? what the Are you fuck is this bald image age? I've found? Yeah, look at this image. High <laughs> 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 impact sexual <laughs> violence. Look how white that bitch is. I mean, they're like I can't they're gray it. to me. They're like grayscale. Here, yeah, I'll put like it up on screen. Elephant. Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Look at that next to your little statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it up there with it. <laughs> Wow. Motherfucker's buff. Why is he, why is he Holy posing? He's got a shit. bicep on the right right there. Yeah, that's huge. That guy's got gains. <laughs> we could look like that too, but we got the we got the speed trait. So there was a genetic... There was two points where oh, genetics yeah, could that. go. Where it was either uh, focusing on muscle build or focusing on speed. And for some reason, our evolutionary trait decided speed would be more more important than just having insane amounts of yeah. muscles. So... I we got were, both of them. We were one. Oh we were one crossroads <laughs> Dude, away from being monkey. That looks Your like Jimbo kills. when he drinks too much beer. This one, this one looks like he's a Slipknot member. Why the fuck does he look like that? <laughs> I thought that's what their ass looked like that we were talking about. Yeah, now it's on the, the face. He just ate some yeah. ass. That's a problem. Fair enough. <laughs> he got the rash. Like eyes. I don't know. You've been one, caught. Can you imagine seeing this shit in the wild? <laughs> I would. I would shoot that thing for sport. I feel like I would be scared. What is he with, is he with Jay Schlock wild? beard? Looks sad. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, Bro. imagine seeing that in your fucking living room. Oh, that'd be a little scarier. <laughs> Just come home to that. 
It looks like, you know what it reminds me of? Uh, have you guys seen the movie Insidious? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With that like red face dude yeah, that like yeah, pops yeah. up sometimes? Yeah. That's kind of what that reminded me of. <laughs> got oh, that's just, that guy just looks like Darth Maul. Yeah, yeah, he did. He had like red and black like weird like design yeah. on his face. Dark Maul. That Darth movie was Maul, scary. Darth Maul. That was like one of the scarier like no. par paranormal movies I've seen. Dark no. Maul when all the lights are out at the mall. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that poor mask, bro. <laughs> dude, bro can you, you do that with your mask? Have you watched that mask? <laughs> Yeah, have you watched no. that since we? Oh, I have That's two of them though. Nasty. I have two. Okay, of them. but we've done like ten podcasts now with me. <clears throat> yeah, I wore mine for like is twenty oh. and minus seven, thirteen. Fuck you. I oh, wore okay. mine for like one Omega video, and that shit smelled like death. I don't know how you've not watched this once. <laughs> nasty. I, I feel like <laughs> maybe I'm a this you know, sick and twisted motherfucker. You know when you like. If you shit somewhere and you're in the room of shit, you don't smell the shit till you leave and come back. I feel like it's something similar to that with McNasty, shit, where it's just like his room just always smells like shit, so he can't smell the mask. You know? <laughs> I, I make sure to I rub get. it under my nose like Vaseline. It looks like a black butthole when I do this look. Or it looks like somebody eating a mask. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just a pair of underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. This is dad's anyone. jock strap. <laughs> Backside of some underwears. <laughs> Wearing them front. It's actually a piece of Ob Obama, <laughs> Obama Sin Laden, I almost said. <laughs> you, you know, um, I want to I wanna ask this, and you can, oh, dear God. Y you can <laughs> follow through with whatever you feel. But uh, I want you to tell some. some What's your jet opinion ski? on BLM? <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> I want to I I hear some uh, some jet skiing stories. What do you mean? You've told me some funny ass <laughs> stories. Back I know what you're trying to get me to say. I'm not saying that one. Well, you're not really. Dude, come on, Did say you that have one. like a gay skiing trip? Say that one. Gays? <laughs> you had butt sex on a jet um, ski. Are you talking about when I went to Duncan when I was hungover? No, but you can tell that one where you shit in the ocean. Yes. <laughs> nice. I did. I, I swam in that ocean. In ocean. Come on, man. Yeah, it's all right, buddy. It's it's <laughs> actually good for the, uh, in AIDS, chapter four, it says it's good for the uh, fish <laughs> of the sea. Fish AIDS? Imagine <laughs> a fish just swimming and just eating your diarrhea afterwards. Are you, are you going to, like, tell us about how that came to fruition? Or are you just going to tell us you died in the ocean? the end of the story? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I was hungover, and then I went to Duncan, which, that not to knock him, but I mean, yeah. Duncan dude. Donuts, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, Dunkin' uh, Donuts, and I got bagel bites and nice. large <laughs> coffee, and I was like, man, I really got a shit. I got on my jet ski. I was like, when I get back, I had to drive two miles, and I was like, when I get there, I got to take a shit, and halfway there, that was no it was, choice. It was time yeah. to shit in I've the been seat. in situations yeah. like that where there's no calls, choice. Boy. Did you just like and, pull your swim shorts down and let it happen, or did you leave them on? What was the vibe? When I tell you it was an emergency, so it was so bad, I actually, I forgot to turn the jet ski off, and so oh, I no. got in. It left you, you were stuck there. Yes, <laughs> it went away from me. Luckily, it ended up turning in a circle. Oh, okay. So I, it came oh, back yeah, around, they, but it almost hit me, They have a system that does that, yeah. Well, that's when it turns off, though. This was still on. It was just idling. It was just, oh, it was really just going in a fucking circle, <laughs> and it came by me. And like I tried to grab on, and I'm like still, like my underwear is falling off. Like I'm in the ocean <laughs> taking a shit, and I'm trying to grab onto the jet ski. Did you, you then, see any fish come up trying to eat it? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, there was a couple swimmers though. That's good. Well, dude, there, there was a story about the Chum. fucking this dude who was like, he was working on some like, he was in some underwater thing or whatever, and they had to go like out of the fucking like what what is it called the little pool that you can like swim in or some shit, in the middle of like this lab pool? and or, yeah, but they, they have like some weird name for it. I can't remember what it was, but he would go out and he had to shit in the ocean because they, they just w like swam, they like scuba in the ocean or some shit. And he said every time he'd go and shit, the fish would just come up in his ass crack and start eating it. Oh, immediately. What? yeah. I think I heard yeah. that on Joe Rogan. I can't remember what guy said that, but I was like, what the fuck? That Life is hack. Average Joe Rogan conversation. <laughs> I think it, I think he was like <laughs> he was talking to like some marine biologist or something, and he was doing the study, and he shit in the ocean. That's what they had to do or something. That's and then how much was that? To do that? I would love to do that. Was that the study to just shit in the ocean, or were they actually doing? No, they were actually studying. So I think they were studying something else. I don't think the study was about shit in the ocean. <laughs> I think that was 
pretty common knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> they were studying the current. Which way did the shit go? <laughs> Ethan used to give uh, jet ski tours. That was his thing. I don't know if you oh, want yeah. me to say that on here or not. Oh. Yeah. That is jet probably the gayest tour. job I think I've ever heard. No offense. Mm, what? That's sick. What do you mean? Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, well, he gets yeah. paid to ride around on a jet ski. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was that's what he was doing. Yeah, that's Dude, tight. I want I want I want you to tell the story. Oh, speaking of shit stories real quick. Ethan shit on my parents pantry room floor. I love how he was nodding like he's excited okay. about yeah. this. He's proud of it. <laughs> you, you and know, I and would get along was, IRL. Not only, there was a video yeah, of dude that was also too. a little shit boy. I've there shit all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Let's video it. of it? Yeah, well, he took there a video was. after it happened. On there was a video. Of it. <laughs> I used to have one of those flip cameras, you know, like those little <laughs> tiny ass flip cameras. Yeah, we used those. to just We used to record ourselves doing dumb shit all the time. Those were awful. Those were terrible. They were, they were, the quality they were, was so bad. Oh, it was a horrible device. But back yeah, in the day, it was, it was it was next level back <clears throat> in the day. It was better than nothing, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah uh, now, you, now you can get 4K video for like fucking $50 on, 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 your, on your iPhone. Yeah. Or that too, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, Ethan, he was like getting a snack out of the pantry. He's like, oh, God. And I like I just look in the pantry, and he's like takes off running to the bathroom, and there's just like a little puddle of yellow shit in the middle of the pantry <laughs> yeah. floor. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I just I, yeah, I run and grab my, I run and get my flip camera. <laughs> I run and First get my reaction. flip camera, and I'm like zooming in on the shit on the pantry floor. Yeah. And then I, I like go to the bathroom door, and Ethan's like, "Oh God, dude!" I'm like, "Bro, you shit on the floor." I wish I still had that video. <laughs> Same. There's just, just like it. a speck. I think there was like another one. There was like a trail. Like a trail. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, "Dude, you go." He's like, you dude, you're going to have to let me uh, borrow your underwear or whatever. And this borrow? is, dude, we, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, hey, dude, we, <laughs> we were absolutely the fuck not. You don't yeah, ever just he, lend underwear. You just give it away or throw dude, it away. Literally so, not. what happened They're was he was like, buddies. dude, I, I, need to, I need to borrow some underwear. So, I, I, I went and I gave this dude, I, just, I think I stuffed it under the door. I stuffed him a, a pair of my underwear under the door. And then, like, a fucking like week later at school, I'm, I'm walking to uh, my parents' car or whatever to go home, and Ethan's mom is there, and she has a plastic bag and oh, holds God. it out of the window. It's like, Dallas, come here. And I walk over, and I'm like, yes? And she's like, oh, here's your underwear you let Ethan borrow. And I'm like, he can have Absolutely he can, not. It was a gift. He can, I'm not he can a thief. Have, it was a gift. He can have those. I'm not a thief. I'm not an Indian giver. He can have them. I made shit on your floors, but I don't steal shit. Hey, I wiped it up too, buddy. You ever see those like security cam <laughs> footage of like random people just shitting in public? Shitting in like Walmart and stuff. Yeah. 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 They just and just boom, it just explodes all over the floor, and then they just walk away. <laughs> that happens I in the subways all the time, dude. What are you supposed to do? Yeah. What do you do in that moment? <laughs> Slide in it like a penguin. Maybe. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> I'm gonna like, offer to clean Break it up. Like, sorry, on I it. shit on your floor. I need, <laughs> I need to clean it up. No way you could just morally get yourself to be like, yeah, time to time to clean up this shit. Like, I'd be like no matter I, how it, no matter how good of a person you are, you are leaving that situation. No. You're getting yourself yeah. out of that situation. No I mean, if I if I had to do nowhere. it like if I literally had to just release shit and there was no other way, I would just shit my pants. I wouldn't pull it down and explode. Yeah, no, I'd probably I'd section. probably shit my pants too. Yeah. Thank you. You guys have respect. Very nice. Yeah. Shit your no, pants. Go to the bathroom. Clean it up. Down. Shit your just pants. Be a man. The fucking yeah, frozen go to like, chicken. Go to like Walmart or something. I just buy like. Actually, I would. I would just pant. shit all over the produce. Just explode all over like the lettuce. <laughs> that would probably be some type of misdemeanor if I had to guess. <laughs> I, think that'd be, I think that would be more than a misdemeanor. You Pro give the whole community a whole line. <laughs> Dude, imagine you shit yourself in the Walmart bathroom or whatever, and you go and you just throw your clothes away and you walk naked back through Walmart and just pick out an outfit and go ring it up. I, that, that, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even look twice if I saw a naked What's a worse crime? What's a worse crime, though? You shitting that's all over actually, the produce or you walking naked and not shitting all the produce? I think produce one is like, <coughs> that's got to be like <coughs> bio-warfare. If this you walk around naked in public, <laughs> you, can, you have to register as a sex offender, so that's probably a lot worse. True. If you pull your pants down and blow your fucking yeah, your cock is mud out while snake you're all over. Well, yeah, because yeah. your chances of getting caught with that is, is a lot lower than walking around making, naked. This is me shitting in the ocean. makes it seem like nothing. It's not <laughs> yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Well, they dump you're a bunch of trash the in the fishes. ocean every day, so I guess it's not really that big of a deal. I'll yeah, his shit was probably the cleanest thing in that water. Very true. <laughs> hey, that's true. Yeah. Tell me about the uh, the woman you had to, to tow. Yeah, <laughs> what we had a 
We Big were uh, two miles offshore, and very, very large lady fell off of her jet ski. Big fat bitch. Very large. Not to be I have made, a fat pass, you. so go ahead. Well, she just say it. Say it, Ethan. Me say and it my with the chest. <laughs> that bitch ain't Big fat bitch. Real. We were on she the back huge. of this jet ski. She was like China. She was huge. <laughs> no, the Russia, of China I'm couldn't you. hold that bitch. <laughs> I just love Dude. when like people are afraid to say like just, <laughs> just big old fat slut. <laughs> well, most people She's are like, horrible people, standing. like nasty. Well, I mean, I think it's just because like I've always grown up fat, and I've you know I've had a fat family, and we all just like you know it just doesn't really offend us. So it's fair. this lady just couldn't get back on the jet ski. I felt bad for her, and like we're big fat lady. How'd she I'm fall stand- off though? Like well, she just leaned. leaned. Like it was just that much. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm telling you, oh, that like, silly fat that, bitch. She was just she like, saw. I'm going, I'm going, and then she's she gone in the water. A manatee swam it. by, a potential mate. We're like on the back You're of this bad. thing. We're like trying to squat her back up onto it. Like I'm grabbing her. She's oh, just God. like, leave me here to die. She's like screaming at me. You I'm like, just said, it's okay. A, it's, it's 8 30 in the morning it's a very calm day just calm down a little we're gonna get you back. here to die she's like just leave me here she was distraught to say the least and then uh yeah she floated there for for about two hours actually probably closer to, to three hours and oh, uh, which is a, it's a long time to just be Jesus. floating out there yeah she and she just like ended up she really just gave up <laughs> She I bet pushed that us bitch off. Was tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck, bro. <laughs> she couldn't get up. She pushed us away. She just floated away. She was like, just leave me here. <laughs> I swear. And you we ended just, up tying. I was going to say tied her to one and just ripped back to shore and let her flop yeah. under the water. That's literally what we did. <laughs> give, her a, give, her a, give her a wakeboard what, so she can have fun the, with it. The, what was the process of tying her to a jet ski? Tying like, her right around her neck. <laughs> See what you <laughs> I called my boss because I was like, can we get the Coast Guard, like the helicopter? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm like, I'm like, we have I a national disaster land. potentially happening. <laughs> Call the president. <laughs> like, there's no reason she should die. I can see the beach. It's right there. Like, <laughs> I'm like holding on for dear life. She just like wanted to die. I don't even know what the deal was. She just gave yeah, up. Maybe she went she out there nice. like with the purpose to die. She was suicidal or something. She was probably know. so embarrassed, like just yeah. the whole situation. And her and the funniest thing is like her family God, now. is just like idling in circles around us, like sharks, just like <laughs> riding by looking. They're like, she alright? It's like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we just tied a little rope through her uh life jacket and just floated her on back. She was just laid back <laughs> like a dead animal and we just <laughs> Brought her back to shore. <laughs> it's like a manatee just floating yeah. in the water. What would you have done if a fucking shark came up and just like <laughs> attacked her while you're just cruising along with her hooked and then your jet ski just gets taken backwards? Like, <laughs> kind of cut, shark. The rope. <laughs> cut the rope. This jet ski just accelerates three times the speed because it's not falling <laughs> anymore. Just rips just her in half. out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, there's actually a lot of sharks where we were. I'm not going to lie. Because there's like an inlet or whatever, so... Yeah. Mm. She made it though. Well, sure. My boss charged her like four hundred bucks. <laughs> as a fat person, you you really just kinda have to not do stuff like that. Like it sounds fun, but if you can't pull your own body weight, don't That's do what activities where you need to pull your own body weight. Or you're gonna fucking die in the I'm ocean. Like I you know? don't want to be mean, but like if you can't simply reach up and grab yourself to pull up somewhere, like it's tough to get on the jet ski out there and the waves yeah. and shit. Like you probably shouldn't do it. We'll take yeah. a video for you, you know, but like it don't, there's no reason to risk your life, you know, yeah. I mean, come on. That is wild. And she could not get up. It was wild. That is fucking hilarious. Trippy, have you had any interesting jobs where you got to haul fat people in the water? Uh, no, not, unfortunately not. No. Uh, I only worked at like this really shitty, uh, there's like a sports complex. It's like right down the fucking road and I worked at a, uh, it's like pretty What's much called? A, Box like yourself? a snack bar. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely not. Uh, but like, it's basically just like fucking a bunch of basketball courts, and I've worked uh, at the register, and I just fucking hate it. I worked there for like two years, and I went away to college for like, uh, what's it called, orientation, and literally like I got there, I'm like, I'm not going home and work, and I fucking called them, I'm like, I'm not coming back. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> and I just never went back because I got fucking treated like shit, and I worked like awful mm. hours. That Any crazy shit happened while you were there? 
Uh, I mean, there was a shit ton of fights because it was AAU basketball, so the amount of times cops came, like, we, yeah, I, w- I went out there once, there was, like, fights. a fight across two basketball courts. Like, two teams were just all out fighting, they were throwing chairs. Damn. Uh, so that's about it, but yeah, I mean, yeah, honestly, that's, that's like, cool. once a month that would happen, to be honest. Fuck. Mm. Yeah, AAU fucking parents are crazy, man. What'd you go to college <laughs> for? I'm still in college, but, uh, I'm in marketing now. Okay. You, uh, did you, you ever join a frat or anything? Fuck no. <laughs> no? no <I'm laughs> you look like frat. somebody that would, that would be super into frats. You're like a big <laughs> frat I t- guy. I take offense yeah. to that. Definitely not. No. It's your the little face face shoes and you your polo. <laughs> if I went to a proper college, I probably would. I don't know if I would join a frat, but I would be at the parties a lot. Hell no. I would want, I would want to experience that. You just that. want to play Limp Biscuit to get in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna show up and they're gonna be like, "What's the password?" I'm like, "Arata u rata ina ina." I mean, maybe it's different for American <laughs> American <laughs> colleges, <laughs> but I feel like every Canadian college I've known of, even like with their uh, their parties, do that you guys like call it frat. university or do you guys actually call it college? So we, have, we have university and college here, so like college is for like the slightly stupider people, and then university yeah, like is for not like actual the slightly, big like universities. Yeah, like so our major things are all universities, but like a lot of colleges like are pretty good in canada still so saying like mm-hmm. you went to college isn't exactly like a slurry <clears throat> a bad like, thing yeah 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 so. here are the 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 like the retard college is called community college yeah i know that one that's <laughs> that's like ma- where you, makes fun yeah. of community yeah. colleges it's like nine US. months long you get a certificate and then you learn to color in the lines and all that jazz <clears throat> yeah that's exactly. what i did i had to learn my shapes and my colors <laughs> Dude, community college is <laughs> i got a certificate stupid. for like some fucking nuclear shit yeah, that's that's what I did. Oh, yeah. It was uh, it was like a year thing. I just You're literally Homer Simpson. Simpson. Yeah, you weren't yeah. you gonna like drive <laughs> nuclear waste around? Still yeah, does. I was actually no. Yeah, I still do that. Sometimes I, I go through my neighborhood with on the back of my uh, golf cart and I just like <laughs> stab holes in like this uranium uh, container. Nah, yeah, yeah. And I just let it fucking like fucking leak complex. out into my. And neighborhood. I just hold a lighter. Just use <laughs> yeah. graphite fuel rods. Just. Sitting yeah, we're just bag. trying to we're trying to get good clean power in the neighborhood. So we go around with uranium and just dump it in places okay. and light it on fire. It's actually that's pretty, pretty uh yeah, it's that's pretty efficient. convenient. That's it burns efficient, all the yeah. bacteria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't put out that fire though, can you? <laughs> if you light something <laughs> nuclear on fire, doesn't it just keep going like forever essentially? I don't know. We should find oh, out. You didn't learn that, you didn't learn that your, your one year of school there? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna there, be honest. Like, I skipped college a lot to go to McDonald's with my friends. That sounds like a much worse usage of time. I, I never that raised high your school, hand but said, was Subway for meatball marinara. What happens if you light it on fire in the middle of class? <laughs> Actually, we had to learn there, a lot about water. Which I is just, there I fire? Is hate. there fire in nuclear? Nuclear? No, stuff? that's the point. Well, not most of them. There's not. And then I'm pretty sure you have to put like borium or something fucked to like. It's put just them like out. yeah, like nuclear power just comes from like the reaction of like different elements. Well, right? it's 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 no, well, kind of. It's it's nuclear fission. <clears throat> fission. Yeah, fusions yeah. bomb fission. So it's just something's decaying. You would know. And then nuclear fish head. Yeah, nuclear fish head. Yeah, it's just something that sounds like an old like, that, like that like makes punk power. ska band. Nuclear fission. <laughs> nuclear fish head. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> I fucking hated it. We had to learn so much about water and like how it flows through pipes and like uh, stuff like that. And I just I wanted to die. I, I learned how to put on a, a hazmat suit or whatever it was though. That was that was nice. fun. Cool. I showed up late as fuck. Dude, I showed up late as fuck. I hadn't showered. My hair was like Ugh. ratted over. And I was like, mm, I'm and here. And everyone's in a hazmat suit. This came, like, <laughs> this came from McDonald's. I'm here. <laughs> You're probably so confused. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got a mixed chicken and they're yeah. all in hazmat suits. <laughs> 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 well, a lot of our, our our teachers were so just like, they didn't give a fuck. They were just like, you're going to have to relearn everything that you learn here like once you you know get the job. So That's like for every job anyway. Mm-hmm. Half, yeah, honestly, like, computer science are like it doesn't matter. They're going to just train you at the job, so it's all pointless. Yeah. Like, they're not like, just going to be like, "All right, you know, you got it. You went to college, yeah. you know everything." Yeah, yeah, we had to like test these little samples and like put them under like a, a Geiger counter and stuff. It was, and you sit on the computer and you fucking put this sample in this thing and you measure like the 
whatever it was. I fucking hate it. Was, was uh, your professor like vigilant while you guys were testing like nuclear materials, or were you just, you no, just it wasn't, pocket it, some uranium and taking leave? a nap? It, it, <laughs> no, it wasn't any. It wasn't anything was like un, unsafe. It wasn't anything that was like you know, because everything gives off radiation. So yeah. you, you would just be testing like little things oh, okay. that gave off a little mm, bit more like than a normal. microwave or something. Yeah, just, just a like, small nuclear bomb. Very small. Yeah. Little bit, very, very tiny. It's just a little tiny cloud on your desk. Just yeah, our, uh, <laughs> that'd be sick. But it's our, super like <laughs> slow, like an actual nuclear. <laughs> our automotive. Uh, you just nuke an ant colony. <laughs> that'd be. Dude, we had to take these tests that were we we had to like take these like tests throughout the class that just were. Huh? Huh? What? What? Yeah. Know, we had to take these said. tests, and it was like. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this shit where you you didn't learn anything about it, but it was stuff like if you're hauling equipment, where would you set it in the trailer of a truck? And it's like the bed. What? Yeah, like you would just get asked these like, common sense well. questions. Is so fucking annoying. I put I it on it. top. <laughs> or, I strap uh, it onto the wheel. <laughs> That's my rear view mirror ornament. <laughs> Reverse Reverse from the fucking mirror. I'm gonna Peruvian hang puffer. this uranium rod like an air freshener. Uh. <laughs> I'm putting my dog's ass. Mm. Ethan, what other jobs do you have? I, I know you work with jet skis and stuff. What else did you do? I don't remember anything else. I worked at a helicopter place what a good for best like friend. two months. <laughs> I don't know anything they, about your life. Tell me, please. Everything I've done has been minimum wage bullshit. Every time. Yeah, you worked at a bunch of... The helicopter, were you one of those people that, like, gave fucking tours of, like, North Carolina and shit? No. What's like a helicopter they, place? I would have to load them into the helicopter for them to ho go have a great time. And I'd just stand there all day and watch people go have fun <laughs> while it's <laughs> fucking 98 degrees. All of your jobs have just been loading people up on the shit. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and then watching them leave. I'd just keep people from dying because all they said when I worked You're there was, like, if a kid runs behind the helicopter, they get blown into pieces because uh, <laughs> of the tail rotor. And then the Please exhaust pipe. Please tell me pipe, you let that happen. No, almost. This one kid was annoying. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, and then there's an exhaust pipe like right behind the back door, and it's like 500 degrees. So they were like, don't let a kid touch that. Don't Holy let anyone shit. run back there or they blow up. We'll give you some minimum <laughs> wage and have a good day. I was like, this Maybe. fucking sucks. <laughs> Somebody gets burnt you went by skydiving recently, though. Oh, that's true. Sick. But but you did you go skydiving? Rocky Mountain climbing? <laughs> did you go two point seven seconds on a bull named Fu Manchu? <laughs> I went way longer than that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a bad. Oh, no, wait, that's a good thing to last longer. No, I mostly just did the jet skis, though. I mean, like, I remember my first day. The guy was like, "This is a safe job. If you make it safe or whatever." And literally 30 minutes later, a guy drove off the dock and just made a 180 and hit the dock going like 40 miles an hour and flew over the thing and like hit the seawall. And Bro, my boss is so like stupid. in the water and shit. I don't know. And it was my like, first day there. I'm like, they're, they're not hard to drive. Like there, there's very little to hit when you're out in the, the ocean. You kind of have to <laughs> really go out of your way to hit something else. <laughs> You'd be surprised how dumb people are, though. That's the thing. I know I would be. It's that's. <laughs> it's just like, not until I work somewhere like that. You just have adults that seem they have kids and all, and they're just like, huh? Like they don't even know. They're just like driving at it. There's a fucking boat coming that's got 200 people on it, and they're just like staring at it, going right towards <laughs> it. I'm like, <laughs> you like a moth to a flame. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, your kid, you're going to both die. Can you just please steer to the right? That's like when dads go outside during a storm to look at the lightning. Like the fucking whole house is about to take off. Oh, and I'm being honest. Yeah, I did that the other day. Oh, yeah, I did all the time dude. too. <laughs> Storms are sick. I love right. the video of that man who goes out in his boxers. He's like, holy fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He's like just walking out, pulling his boxers up. And that was like some explosion or something, I think. But still, same thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, Ethan, <clears throat> the, the best part about Ethan working with uh, jet skis was uh, he would call me and tell me all the dumb shit. And I would just, I would love it, dude. He'd call me and be like, yeah. People would ask me, are there sharks out there? Or like, yeah. They're like, like going out in the ocean. Off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you Riding had to walk off the sharks? Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, <laughs> you think you're at SeaWorld, buddy? <laughs> 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 we are. They asked me what lake it is. 
I'm like, what? <laughs> oh my god. Huh? I'm like, what yeah. lake is this? I'm like, I wonder if there are sharks here? in the Great Lakes. Because the Great Lakes no, are fucking massive. There is not sharks in the Great Lakes. No? No. I wouldn't think so. I wonder like what kind of weird are there weird animals that exist in that lake? No, really. It's fucking huge. It's a huge lake. Which one? There's there's six of them. I, well, I mean, they're five, all pretty six, large. Five, like way bigger five, than average. Five, sorry, not six. Homes. Yeah, five. Five, six. Five. I don't know. Five. But, um, <laughs> I've I've touched them all. I haven't found anything wild in them. Have you just, pooped in them? Just water. Do they consent to that? Uh, they're lakes. I don't know. I haven't asked them. I just kind of went no, in. No, no, Blarg. I'm not okay with that. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm not sorry. okay with that. I didn't mean to defile the. <laughs> The open water, but I don't think there's anything too exciting. I don't know if I could do this. Also, the water is pretty nasty. I'm gonna be honest. Most of the lakes are kind of disgusting, especially like really? the worst is Lake Erie, which unfortunately is the one that I'm like closest to. Uh, yeah, Lake Erie is. Oh, you guys is, like yeah. know each other pretty well, or what? Yeah, yeah, we we know each other pretty well. <laughs> People shit in them a lot, dude. They're like actually all poo brown for the most part, unless you go up like the North the River, bro. I don't want to see the water River. in the world. <laughs> like dip a toe actually, in there. there was a. There is a, a little river that feeds off of the Detroit River uh, that went through Detroit itself, and it caught on fire not that long ago. Uh, the water yeah, was the on fire. The river caught on fire. Yeah, the water was on yeah. fire for a couple of days. It was. Uh, it happens to the ocean sometimes. Sounds like BP was Yeah, that did that happen to the ocean. <laughs> Probably. Smoke on the water. The water is on fire. Smoke on the water. <laughs> Ethan and oh. Trippy, I have a question for you guys. Yeah, Alice? When you go to Little Caesars, oh my, oh my god. god, holy Dude, shit! Dude, Ethan already bro. knows. Ethan already knows. I don't know anything. <laughs> he already knows. Please just say Caesars. you know, so we don't have to talk about <laughs> Ethan, this. Ethan has a biased opinion on this. Because all right, go ahead. What when you go to Little Caesars <laughs> and you ask for the pizza that's just five dollars and it's just already made, you don't have to like sit there and wait. You already threw yourself under the bus. You called it pizza. What yeah. do you call it? You already lost. Well, it is pizza. I never said it wasn't pizza. I call it a five dollar foot long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fucking mentally retarded, then. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I thought you said Subway. My bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't even think they make those anymore. Inflation, buddy. No more five dollar foot longs. Dude, I call it a pizza. I don't Amen. say. Like I said, you're biased and brainwashed. What do you mean, Trippy? <laughs> uh, I'd have to call it a pizza too because. Uh, Get the fuck. motherfucker! <laughs> Get <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> It's a hot ready! You're mad. It says it on the box. You saw one Caesar's commercial, movie? and then you called it that forever. We get it. I mean, it literally He's says it on the box. Yeah, you're a shill. I feel deja vu coming on. I mean, when you go yeah, to, like when you go to McDonald's, time. when you go to Those McDonald's and you want a Big Mac, you ask a Big Mac. You say Big Mac, right? I say number one meal. You don't say burger with an extra piece of fucking bread in the middle. But hot and ready is an adjective. Ooh. I, I mean, it's more of a phrase. But those two no. words I mean, Little Caesars has, yeah. Caesar has literally copyrighted that phrase. Like, that's how much it means to them and me. So Can what happens if I... <laughs> are you a part of them? <laughs> <laughs> so this, guy is, this guy is a majority stockholder, I'm telling you. Yeah. 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 Little Caesars, you go this guy owns 51% of the company, so yeah. careful. If I don't get more people talking about it, then they're going to kick me off of the board. It is the official pizza of the NFL now or some shit, I oh, think. Oh, yeah, I think I saw it. Or the fucking NFL. Holy no. Congratulations, McNasty. Good Ain't job. No Thank you. NFL Thank player you. Papa John's. Fucking. It's not Papa With John's. the amount of money pumped in the NFL, they settle in for hot and readies. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. You mean pizzas? Yeah. It used to be, it Sorry. Used to be Pizza Hut, wasn't pizzas. it? <laughs> it used to be Papa John's forever. Was it? Uh, Maybe it's because yeah, I said the same word. Yeah, that's Peyton why. Peyton Manning was throwing oh. a pizza? Uh. <laughs> yeah, he was throwing a pizza to Papa John. What? Yeah. He rolled it up into a shape of a football and perfect spiral. And then deflated a little bit. <laughs> throw it. No, that you know, they, have, Brady. they have pizza dough. I don't dough, know anything about football. Uh, competitions. What? what Which do you entails do what exactly? Yeah, what do you do? They try <laughs> to see who can flip the pizza dough above their head, you know? And they try and see who can get it, I think, the largest... Or whatever, <laughs> without it breaking or some shit. Wait, I feel like I've watched that with you. I feel like it was on like that ESPN yeah, the Ocho or something. <laughs> yeah, ESPN Ocho. Maybe. Yeah, I think <laughs> we saw that like a sport. Ago. Yeah. It sounds like a Mario Party <laughs> mini game. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, ESPN Ocho is a great watch. You ever go into like a, a B Dubs at like uh, 11, mm. 11 no, a.m. on a I Monday? You're watching, you're watching ESPN Ocho. 
<laughs> they got like marble racing and midget. on one of their 800 TVs. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I feel like I have <laughs> autism when I'm in B dubs. Just so yeah. much stimulation everywhere. Yeah, there's, there's like a, a drone, drone race look. going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drone race, yeah. Those are crazy. Somebody like racing cockroaches. That'd be kind of fun. It's a dog average, fight happening in the corner. Average New York apartment <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'd watch like cock fighting on ESPN, yeah. It'd be a good time. Cock? Cock. Cock fighting. China me, and Ethan, me and Ethan saw a, a drone flying out over the ocean with a oh light God. with a light coming off the bottom of it, and we thought it was a UFO. We did. It was. Yeah, that <laughs> we, may have been under, we may have been under the influence. Yeah, after we shot at it 20 times and the owner yelled at us. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen those spotlight like, uh, on it though? Have you ever seen those drone shows that people do? Uh uh-uh. they'll put like like a hundred of them up in the sky and they'll have like different colored oh, lights. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. and they'll make like the stuff. American flag or concert. smiley face, yeah. But people people see those like far away and they freak out over them. They think it's like they think it's uh, aliens. Bro, I, I regret ever joining the subreddit, but R slash UFO is the funniest fucking thing. It will really? be like dude, it is the funniest subreddit. There is. It will be like literally a PNG of a plate, like a dinner plate, poorly pasted onto some clouds <laughs> with like a Shutterstock logo, and somebody will unironically <laughs> post and be like, "Guys, do we finally have proof? I think I think the news is gonna pick up on this one next week." And it's just like the worst image anybody could. Like, they it's slide so a quarter bad. down their windshield. <laughs> yeah, they're like, "Do you see it?" <laughs> It's so fucking Stop bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you guys ever had any extraterrestrial shit that you have have seen with your own yeah, eyes? Yeah, I have three you? of them. I was born. All right, let's hear them. Extra let's one. Hear them. I want to hear everyone's alien stories. Oh, extra ter- Oh, I thought you said extra. I had a, Sorry, I had an actually a very odd one, um, which I feel like probably could have been. Uh, I just made it up in my head, so it was actually the night after my friend passed away. <laughs> And I just was walking. I was looking up and literally saw, like, the brightest fucking star of every... Like, it literally looked like... Uh, you know when you look at uh, a star through, like, a telescope or something like that? It has the four, like, the cross lines because yeah. obviously it gets distorted. It was, like, a huge lens flare and then just nothing instantly. And I was just, like, staring in that location Aww. trying to find out what it was for, like, I don't know, a good 10 minutes just looking in that spot. And it was just so fucking confused. But, it sounds uh, like an alien took a picture of you. Yeah, I might have got. I might have. Yeah, he might have. He tried to take a little creep shot and didn't turn the flash off. But uh, the government <laughs> taking a picture of you. Yeah, I've never had any extraterrestrial stuff. I saw a, a meteor that made the whole sky green, and I was like tripping the fuck out because I didn't know Whoa. if I actually saw it or not. I was looking down at my phone and I like just caught it off the corner of my eye because obviously it's so fast they break up like so quickly once they enter the atmosphere, and it was just Did like you, a huge uh, flash of green and then just gone, and I was just. I was so confused. Did you, you look through the telescope? The, uh... You see Shrek flying <laughs> at first. It's a green light. Did you see the Wait. Aurora Aurora Borealis the other day, like a couple weeks ago? No, I did not see. Uh, there was a phenomenon where you could see the Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Borealis, Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. What, what? like really low, like like in. I, I couldn't see it because it, it just does happen it once in a while. Um, Is that where common it goes up down. there? To see like, that, that shit up there. No, in you have to be in like. Greenland no, you have to, to be. Yeah, shit. you have to be like You're super not, far north. But like north we, enough. no, not even close. Like I'm, I'm more south than I think it's thirty something states. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah Canada, like, like part of Canada, Canada like, dips in. Yeah, we're yeah, like the penetrating shape. the U.S. Like Which I'm, I'm as, like crazy Jesus. I'm as southern as you can get in Canada. Like literally, the yeah. most southern point is 45 minutes from. Yeehaw. Um, yeah, so yeah, you're technically a southerner when you think about it. Yeah, yeah, I am. You're a Canadian Welcome redneck, in, buddy. Welcome. Welcome. Actually, oddly enough, Canadian rednecks are like way more north. Like they're in Alberta, and it's like Alberta is undistinguishable yeah. human-wise from the south of the U.S. Like same people, exact really? same people. They're just in. Isn't snow that where like what uh, that that one show is based off of? Um, Letterkenny. Uh, yeah, Letterkenny. No, Letterkenny's Ontario, Swamp I think. Isn't it? <clears throat> I thought Letter Kenny no, was Alberta because my friend it? from Alberta always talks about that. It could be. I'm not sure to be honest. I don't really. I, I've never really watched it. I thought it was for some reason. I thought it was like Hamilton area, which is like Toronto, but I could be wrong. That could be a different show that I'm thinking of. Yeah, I don't know. What about uh, 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 Trailer Park Boys? Uh, I have no idea where that's supposed to be. Probably somewhere it's in Ontario. Trailer okay. Park. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta remember. Like, I think it's it might even be ninety percent of the population of Canada lives in one strip. 
from Windsor, which is a city I live near, all the way up to uh, Upper Quebec. There's literally like a line, um, and that's where like ninety percent of our population is, and then everyone else is dispersed across the rest. Did you of know the that massive the landscape. Uh, I might have said this before, but did you know that the the guys from Trailer Park Boys like dress up in their getup and go out in public yeah, and go like, to bars and shit as themselves? Fuck with people, yeah. That's, yeah, that's so sick. That's, that's pretty awesome, to be honest. <clears throat> I do like, the same you know, thing. <laughs> <clears throat> gets in his suit, get a, gets in his monkey man costume, goes to a bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have any alien stories? I'm curious. I've never seen yeah. shit, bro. Nothing happens Me here. Neither. I don't go outside. I went to Roswell, and everything there is like alien themed. The Walmart has aliens painted on it and shit. And so you have seen aliens. It's true. I mean, I've been to a Walmart before. Ah, uh, that counts. That's pretty that has always <laughs> confused me. I feel like, like if you were an alien, why would you go of all places to the desert in the U.S.? Like, yeah. why there? Like, it's. I love always... that they can travel all the galaxies and they're yeah, so advanced, just to go to but they accidentally Nevada crash. And New How Mexico. do they accidentally crash? Like a fucking bird <laughs> ran out in front of them. <laughs> like they just traveled <laughs> here from so far away, and they're like, "Oh fuck." And on like, Earth, of all things, like why yeah. not the moon? Why not Earth? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why New Mexico? What do they need in New Mexico? <laughs> Nobody right. needs to go to New Mexico. They want dirt. They could do Mars. Like why? Yeah. Why that little piece of shit? Yeah. I don't sorry, know. sorry, Waswell. Sorry, Waswell. Sorry, Waswell. Waswell. Sorry, I'm seven and retarded. Sorry about that. <laughs> What's that? Waswell. Wadwell. I've never even heard of Waswell, my bad. <laughs> 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 yeah, they came all this way, and then, I don't crashed know, a goose in, ran out in front of them. And crashed they in New crashed. Mexico. <clears throat> Got dissected. They were geniuses. <laughs> Got crossed up by a bird. <laughs> yeah. Trippy, what about you? Any alien stories? No, I've never seen shit with aliens. I mean, as a kid, I used to think I'd see shit like in the woods, like when we're playing Manhunt, but no, nothing really. You look like you still play Manhunt in the woods. It looks like you're actively <laughs> like you're playing Manhunt right, right now. now. But, <laughs> but now you're paid for it. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone else have any any extra to- mm. testicle stories? Nothing exciting? I, I Not when I'm sober. I, <laughs> Not when I'm sober. <laughs> I swear I saw one. Like I was completely sober riding down the road. And I saw something that looked really odd. I mean, I'm not going to say that I, I thought it was a UFO, but it, the way it moved was not like something that I'd ever seen move in the sky before. But then again, it could have been like some government agent What did, what did it do? Well, it, it just looked like a fucking like airplane or something. It was at night, of course, and it was like you could see the light like flashing on it, you know? Yeah. And it just going across the sky, and then it just like out of nowhere, it's just flying like normally – you can see the light blinking and then like it moves really fast like one direction and then it just like drops down really fast out of nowhere and i was like what the mm. fuck could that like been? A but i mean it, or something it was yeah Kobe's, it could have been a Kobe's helicopter <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay damn boy somebody taped fuck? a flashlight to a bat <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> to a bat <laughs> i've been to a swap yeah, and just shot it out of the sky <laughs> and it just falls <laughs> I've been to a swap meet. There's a lot of aliens there. All right. okay. What is that? What is a swap meet? Swap. Swap. It's meat. like white oh trash God, people Discord. things. Am I super lagging your guys' Discord? Yes. No. Oh, yeah, I guess you are. <laughs> Stop motion film. <laughs> it's the aliens. They are hacking into the mainframe. We know that's, too much. It's not like you on my. Uh, that's recording. also another thing I've oh, been confused about with alien sightings is like, there'll be like a I red was making flashing a Mexican light. Joke. By the way, yeah, sorry. Speak if we got the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like a red flashing light on this on this uh, apparently extraterrestrial ship. Is it like why would they have a flashing light? If they want to stay hidden, they would have no light on it. Yeah. Right. yeah. If they did it, and if they button. didn't want to stay yeah, if they didn't want to stay hidden, they would go drop down in New York and say what up. Yeah. Like I just it's confusing. I don't know. The Bigfoot yeah. people are, are awesome to me. Those are Dude, funny. <laughs> me and Ethan, when we were in Montana, we took edibles <laughs> and we watched this Bigfoot documentary and like the guy was he I thought it was a say, joke. That's well, gotta I wonder be if there's a subreddit because the UFO subreddit is funny. I can't I'm imagine sure how good that is. Oh, I got I'm sure there is a Bigfoot one. one. Dude, it, this guy, I'm pretty sure he said he, like, quit his fucking job. He was like, I was in the woods, and I saw, like, this being. And he was like, the way its muscles are, 
It doesn't walk like a human. It looks like it's floating like a cloud through the trees or something. And he was like, he, he said something like, didn't he say he fucking quit his job? Yeah, and he's like, it, immediately he I quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated it's my like, life to finding like, Bigfoot. Yeah, I think he really needed a reason to quit his job. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, r slash Bigfoot sightings, incredible place. There's just this fallen down tree. Somebody posted it. 18 people have voted this. This was apparently interesting enough. All this is a tree that has fallen over, and this man said, interesting structure. Noticed it on my walk today and posted it in Bigfoot sightings. It's literally, I don't know if it's going to focus at all. It is just a tree that has fallen over. There is nothing That's proof, dog. It's like Instagram There's, for Bigfoot. There's definitely nothing a Bigfoot. Sasquatch got bored and picked it up. Y'all just can't see it. Y'all can't see it. Oh, you got to wake up. <laughs> no way. This is just a hairy guy on a motorcycle. What are these? Look at these yeah. ones. What is that? <laughs> what these these the are fuck? real things. Looks like a low res <laughs> screenshot from one of my GTA videos. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Sasquatch an orang- parentheses real. That's probably what it is. <laughs> oh my god, what an awful subreddit. All right, I'm going to the actual Bigfoot one. I want to see if they got anything cool in there for it says memes. I'm going to go to the top of all time. See what the best I, Bigfoot when, one. <clears throat> when I was in Tennessee, I saw one of those old police cars. What are they called? Is it a, a the, Monte the Carlo? Crown Vic. Crown Vic. Monte yeah, Carlo. Crown Vic. Yeah. Crown Vic. Yes. Yeah, Isn't that a sandwich? Vic. Monte Carlo. Uh, Monte no, Cristo? I think. What, what, <laughs> I don't know what. I'll, it's a Crown no, Vic. A it was like cheese. A, it was an old Crown Vic, <laughs> and it was covered, dude. He had like these fucking like floodlights <clears> on top <throat> of it, and it was just like decked out with a bull bar and shit on the front. And it was like Bigfoot Hunter, like all like big fucking oh font across the side, what like bad stickers of Bigfoot all around it. And I'm like, dude, who is driving this? Thing? I want to be that and guy's I, friend, dude. That guy's awesome. I, 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 I was trying to, it, I was trying to wait on him because I wanted <laughs> to buy G. it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to fucking buy it. I would totally drive that around town. What color nobody, is your Bigfoot mobile? Nobody would fuck with you if you're driving around with Bigfoot. <laughs> oh yeah, Vic. Would think oh you're hell no. <laughs> You gonna get out and try like, to pick a fight with that dude? One. Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> He's got enough ammo to kill Bigfoot. The actual, <laughs> the actual <laughs> Bigfoot Reddit is not fun. He's probably got Tannerite in his truck. <laughs> yeah. it says bombs ready. What'd you say about the Bigfoot Reddit? The actual Bigfoot Reddit is not fun. There's just people making memes. The Bigfoot sightings is a gold mine. There's yeah. like just the worst things I've ever seen. Called Prince of Bigfoot, and there's just an old lyric from a rabbit. Go to Bigfoot sightings and no, post your nutsack. No. We, have, we have ruined enough subreddits. If you we, are listening to this, use code Goons for G subs. Yeah, use yeah, code Goons. Yeah. Code for Goons G-subs. for G subs. Put it in beer your yeti and drink it all yeah. now. Use code Goons. Goon. Wow. Code goons. Do your neck is your neck is poking through, dude? That's okay. Yeah, somebody noticed couple your more, chin. Couple more in inches, podcast. and you might see some. That's okay. I'll show a little stubble. Chin. Oh, oh, okay. That's gonna yeah, be the little title peach of this fuzz podcast. on there, boy. Little peach fuzz on there. I need to shave my nuts and my that's face. That's gonna be the title and thumbnail of this podcast, and it's just gonna just be like just your cut out of your chin. One little just Dorito look, chip looking dip of my chin at the top. It could be Do either nut sack or a chin. <laughs> <laughs> but how, I bet you that I bet you it's gonna have like 300k views in two days though. Fuck yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna freak me. out over that shit. Me. Yeah, Insane. I want to abuse you with a broom. All right. Okay. <laughs> should, we end, should we end it on that note? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Trippy do the outro. outro. I don't know. Trippy do the outro. No, yeah, we got soup. Outro. You got to do the outro. <laughs> That's your job. That's what we pay you the big bucks for. I think for. we should all do the outro at the same time. Yeah. Let's let's all do one word of the outro. Okay. 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 Uh. How are we doing it? Like in, <laughs> in like, uh, right, I'll, the theme I'll start. song of CTE. Thank. How are I mean? Who's going? Yeah, yeah, how, are we, how do we decide? All right, we'll do it down the the list on Discord. I'm all just right. gonna we'll, guess what. All right, well is then next, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to say. All right, Blarg, you start. <laughs> yeah, right, Ethan. Me and you were just. It's Blarg, Ethan, McNasty, me, <laughs> Jude, Trippy. Right, <laughs> Thank right. you for watch ing the podcast. And now. <laughs> <laughs>
Bro. That was two words. It's a hyphenated it's word. Two words. It's fine. Oh, Thank you for watching the podcast. Download on Spotify. <laughs> like and subscribe. Use code GOONS. Hit problem is him and I'm going to hold him to two words. That's my bad. Ethan, you ruined it. You're not in Fucked it up. Last time on the podcast. <laughs> We're coming back, Ethan. Well, Blacklisted. it ended. The sentence ended on me. I don't know what you guys normally say. I, I, I don't listen to that part. Ass plug. Everyone leave a comment saying that they hope Blark feels better. Butter, he, needs, butter. he needs some positivity and good vibes. Send Blark your soup. thoughts and prayers. It helps yeah, every thanks, time. Everybody does that. Yeah, yeah, thoughts and, thoughts and prayers are... Yeah, actually, I'll take drugs an outside job. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Send drugs to my house, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. Die. Let's go, Goons. Ah! Oh!